What's up lads, Josh here and welcome back to another episode of Around the World with 32 Leagues. Today's uh, episode is number 14 I believe. Uh, sorry about the late upload, late yesterday the upload did actually crash but today we are back and after Liga Atalante it is of course Liga BBVA. Um, a lot of people have been waiting for this one and no wings for this one, we've gone for a 4-2-3-1 so that means no Ronaldo. But we did actually go for um, the second best in the Liga BBVA, if you know what I mean. If you don't understand, then uh, you'll see who comes in at centre forward eventually. Moving on to the goalkeeper, to start off this team, we have a blue keeper, which is called Roberto. He's a great keeper, 90, div 90 diving, 80 handling, 80 78 kicking, 86 reflexes, 50 50, 55 speed, 50 50, uh, 84 positioning. This guy is a bit of a beast, and he's actually pretty cheap, as you can see, 17k I picked him up for. Um, pick him up lads if you are going for this team or you can go for like Casillas or something like that moving on to the gold centre backs we have second in form Pepe costing how much? Uh, 49k pretty cheap there uh, 75 pace, 70 passing, 60 dribbling, 89 defending, and 86 heading. I didn't have enough for second, uh, third in form, so I just went for second for the for 40k. Uh, that's pretty cheap for going for him. He's a decent player. He's a very good centre back. Uh, moving on to the next centre back, we have Pereira, Pereira, whatever his name is. 82 pace, 81 defending, 79 heading. Probably the best, uh, cheapest uh, centre back in Liga uh, in Liga BBVA. So he's a decent player. Uh, to pick him up, very nice stats there all around. Uh, moving on to the gold right back, we have Danny Alves, normal Danny Alves, 43-1 formation, 93 pace, 75 shooting, 85 passing, uh, 84 passing, sorry, 83 dribbling, 80 defending, and 76 heading. Uh, nice defensive stats, very, very nice attacking stats. He's got a crazy long shot, uh, and of course, four-star skills, uh, which is like the main reason why he's worth so much. Uh, moving on to the left back, we have a big Jordi Alba in there, 90 pace, uh, the upgraded version because he's been transferred from a from Valencia to Barcelona and a left wing to a left back. 90 pace, 67 shooting, 76 passing, 81 dribbling, 73 defending, 67 heading, bit low on the defensive stats but very nice attacking stats just like Dani Alves, 3 star skills, 3 star weak foot, you can't go wrong with him uh, for how much coins, like 15, 10k, there we go. Uh, moving on to the, the gold CDMs, uh, first one is Medel, never used him before, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, you guys let me know if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, Medel is 78 pace, 75 shooting, 72 passing, 64 dribbling and the main reason I got him was 86 defending, that is an absolute tank stat uh, and 78 uh, heading so that's decent defensive stats and he's also got a decent long shot on him so uh, you know. If you're going for this team, make sure you pick him up. Uh, next player, we've tried him before, Kadira, and didn't really uh, think too much of him the first time I bought him. Yeah, he's okay. Uh, just quickly do that because then you get more uh, green links. Kadira is uh, 75 pace, 80 shooting, 75 p uh, passing and dribbling, and very nice defensive stats of 85 defending and 83 heading, which, you know, that's the main reason I've got him in central defensive. Uh, the right central attacking... We have gone for Kaká, never used him before, ever, ever used him before. Uh, so, yeah, it was cool to, to try him out. Four-star skills, 77 pace, 83 shooting, 80 passing, uh, 87 dribbling. Not the best of he heading or defending stats, that, but, you know, he really doesn't need it for a central attacking. Uh, Four-star skills and 3,600 coins. He's pretty cheap for an 85-rated player. Moving on to another player that I've never ever used before is Iniesta. Great player, really like him. You know, very very intricate dribbling with that 91 dribbling, 90 passing. Definitely does not lie. He can, you know, he's a bit Paul Scholes like. You know, can he can uh, he can switch the play within one ball. Uh, 78 pace, 72 shooting. I'd say that shooting does need to up, be upgraded a little bit because uh, his long shot is on fire. Moving on to the, actually we'll go for the striker first so then we will announce the uh, the, the big centre forward last. I'm sure you got, you guys are going to know who it is. 88 pace uh, is the Benzema upgraded uh, card, 85 rated. 88 pace, 87 shooting, 70 passing, 86 dribbling and 75 heading. All around good stats uh, and he's got an inform, this is the inform upgrade for how much, you know, uh, 7,500 and Iniesta goes for 73,000 so um it's a pretty expensive team, but to wrap this team off is the one, the only Messiah. It is Messi. 93 pace, 87 shooting, 82 passing, 97 dribbling, 67 heading. Really low defense uh, heading stat, but he does actually seem to win a couple of headers uh, for me anyway. 
Uh, as you can see, I picked him up for 225k. Uh, he's a very, very decent player. Unfortunately, he, you know, you have to hit it with his left if you want to score some decent goals with Messi. And right foot is just non-existent. That is the only thing that you know that that would make me go for someone else. Uh, maybe Ronaldo over Messi, uh, but then you'd have to play wings, of course. But you know, this is the team I went with. I've never played Messi before, so I wanted to try him out. You know, I've never used a lot of these players. I've never used Benzema, I've never used Messi, never used Iniesta, and never used Kaká. So it's really nice to uh, to you know use these players out and try them out. Um, and yeah, this has been the team. It costs around about 520k, I believe. So if you've got some co uh, spare coins lying around and you want a cool team, um, you know, pick this one up. Very nice, got a couple of informs, got a nice couple of high rated cards. Uh, I'm going to rate this team a 8 out of 10, really thoroughly enjoyed using it, however, you know, I'm not really a big fan of the high rated teams, um, but you know, I really do like the low rated teams, the 2 to 3 star teams, they are just really fun to use, uh, and your opponents you can smash easily, but when you, when you, you know, when you're matchmaking you always get put up against pretty much the same opposition, uh, and it is, it is, you know, it does make FIFA a lot harder, but anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment, favorite, all extra flags. See you in a bit, lads, and enjoy the footage. See ya.